sneakerheads in basketball and dudes alike. This is the only land, and we are back to talk about um, a pair of sneakers that I grabbed quite a while ago. Um, before we get into that, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe, and if you like what you've seen before, or you like what you see today. Um, before I get into the sneakers, um, I just want to shout out, I guess, a couple people who subscribed recently. I usually do this more frequently, but I forget, and then I guess people unsubscribe. I, I don't know. It definitely only shows the public uh, subscribers. I don't even know how that works. But um, Weezmatic, Hellcat Zay, Cash Money Kel, and Willie Tran, Ur Urkel Spar, John Dangalo. Thanks. Um, I might have mentioned some of these people before. Samuel Speed. Um, maybe not. But I see them on there. So that's and that's for the last couple months. I'm not gonna lie to you. But anyways, um, let's get into what I have here. Um, as you can see, it's a Jordan box, and you can already tell by the title. It says size 11, Magnet, Magnet College Navy, uh, and Jordan 6 Retro. I'm a big fan of this box, actually. Um, the cheap boxes that they gave out for a little while, I hated. Um, so I'm a huge fan of these. Oh, and if you don't, if you're trying to figure out where I am, I'm traveling, that's why I'm filming like this. I don't really like it, I actually hate it. I would prefer the sitting down thing, but it is what it is. Um, and these right here are the Jordan 6 Georgetowns. Um, the color, what the hell is that? Oh, it's the, the lace. Um, because I'm standing like this, I'm going to put one down and show you guys just one. Uh, I'm a huge, I'll just say I'm a huge fan of this colorway. Um, it's not gonna come in well in the light. I, I do I have to adjust the light? Like, whatever. Uh, if you guys don't know why Jordan um, has this specific colorway, the Georgetown colorway, I go into a little. I will go into it a little bit. But I also have a video. I believe it was Jordan threes. I think there were threes at Georgetown colorway as well, and that'll explain some of it. But if not, um, it's Georgetown six. Um, the reason I believe that Jordan does a Georgetown 6 or Georgetown colorways is because of the rivalry that he had with Georgetown when Patrick Ewing was over there and he was in college. Um, he hit the game winner, the championship game on them. Um, so I think he just holds Georgetown at like, a, like they have a high significance for him. Um, I also think it's a little bit of shade. Like I said, he hit the game winner on them. Uh, so I th believe that's that's some of the reasoning behind the Georgetown colorways, and I've always been a particularly big fan of these colorways. And this was one of the sneakers for 2022 that when they like when the um, when they showed what was coming out for the year, I knew for a spec like I, I wanted these. Like this was something that I wanted for a fact. Um, uh, let's get into what's actually in the sneaker. I've never done that before. Um, in the J Jordan 6, you have a polyurethane uh, midsole, and then in the uh, uh, forefoot, you have an encapsulated uh, air unit, and then in the back, obviously, you can see that visible air unit as well. I will say that I don't really wear 6s that often, and if you guys saw, I think maybe it was two videos ago, two videos ago or three videos ago, um, I started the video, I showed you guys that I had um, on the Jordan 6, I believe it was Defining Moments, the black and gold colorway. They were super uncomfortable, I will tell you that. So if these are uncomfortable, I don't know how long they're gonna stick around, but wasn't wasn't a huge fan of how they felt at all on my feet. Um, <laughs> and I had only wore them once, so. Um, but besides that, on here you have like a very, very nice suede. Um, to me, this is good quality stuff. Um, nothing like super spectacular. Obviously, Jordan, we as consumers who understand products, I feel like understand that Jordan can do much better than this. For sure, Jordan can do much better than this, but compared to what like they usually do, this is a very nice suede. Um, I will say that there are some inconsistencies um, on both pairs. You can see where some, pair, uh, some parts are uh, Thicker than others, but um, I saw an explanation to that, um, and I, I guess it's it's because it's skin, right? This is like suede is an actual, it's actually skin, and it's just not as easy to um, 
to just get completely correct, like you're, you're not gonna get a perfect pair at any point. What I do hate though is the inconsistencies in like these little perforations. That's the stuff that always bothers me and right there you got like a, I don't even know if you guys gonna be able to see that. I might, mm, no you'll see. You see that particular one, you see all the other holes and then you see that one that they just didn't take out. And it's just little things like that that bug me a little bit but that is what that is. Um, I'll pull it out myself at some point. Actually it's, it's bugging me a lot. I might pull it out now. Uh, I'm looking forward to putting these on feet, for sure. And then just to go into regular Jordan 6 pieces of silhouette, you have the spoiler on the back. Um, that's always been a huge fan for me. Um, I believe that's inspired by um, one of Jordan's cars or one of Michael Jordan's cars. He's a big car person. Um, uh, that's what, there's another sneaker inspired by a car. I just can't remember off the top of my head right now. Um, then you have the, uh, I always like the tongue on the 6 as well. I'm a big, I actually really like the 6 silhouette, right? That's why I cop them, it's just, it depends on the colorways. So you have the, the 6 tongue there, you have the uh, little lace lock, and then of course, there's always that little piece where you can pull that off there, um, and then tuck your laces under that. And this one actually came off a lot easier than the one on the Defining 6s, uh, or Defining Moments. I could not take that, that one off, and I didn't want to damage the sneakers, so I just left them. Um, but yeah, that's uh, I would say that's pretty much it. There's not much else to go to. Um, I will say that I have finally adjusted to the, the, the outsoles, the clear blue one here. Um, when they first released those clear blue, blue outsoles, I hated them, or I hated like the, uh, like the tint on them because they always had, obviously, um, the clear on that, but I just, I, I wasn't a big fan of like the, the tint to it. And I think I'm just kind of getting used to it. Like they're gonna continue to re release them like that. So I guess at some point I gotta get used to it. And I say that like it hasn't been years. People are gonna be like, bro, those have been out for a long time. It has, but I was, I've just never really been a big fan of them. And then last but not least, I did wanna just tell you guys that these have been sitting in the box since I bought them. I know it's been some months since I, uh, since I grabbed these. Uh, I'm a procrastinator. So that's why this video just never came out. Um, they've been sitting in there for quite some time. Um, I think I opened the box and looked at them once. You know, I tried to preserve like my first time feelings when I'm un unboxing something. And I, I love them, honestly. I'm a huge fan. Um, and that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe. And if you like what you saw today or you like what you've seen before, um, this is the only land I'm out of here. You guys have a good one.